Hey again, Flasstube. This is Tina Fraser. It is, once again, 9-14-2017. It's a little after 10-30, and um, I just figured I'd bring you a little bit of an update to my um, oldest work in progress completion and just kind of show you some of the stuff I got um, for for my local craft stitch store, my local needle workshop, Cross My Heart in Columbus, Ohio, last night during the Wednesday night stitch group. Um, they've started this Wednesday night stitch group that I've been going to in the break for roller derby that we've had and I'm probably going to continue going at least a couple of times a month uh, because I've been enjoying it and it's getting me working on my stitching projects but anyway um, in light of that I bought some stuff for a couple of projects that I want to get going um, if you give me just a second I'm going to pause for a minute so I can pull out a couple other things and um, show you what I got be back in a minute. All right, so I'm back. Um, I have to apologize if it looks like I'm crying. My eyes water quite a bit, and um, they're kind of irritated right now, and I'm not exactly sure why. So if it looks like I'm crying on video, I apologize. I'm not really crying. It's just my eyes are watering, and I probably can't feel them water until it drips down my cheek. But anyway, so here is some of the stuff I got from my cross stitch store last night. So I took some, um, after going through my um, tubs of, prog of works in progress and things that I want to stitch, all my patterns that I've acquired over the years, um, I also came, uh, I also dug through some of my old cross stitch magazines and um, I was sitting at the cross stitch store last night going through some of them and I came across this old Mirabilia pattern um, from the Cross Stitch and Needlework magazine from January of 2013. Um, this is the cover of it. Um, there was a Nora Corbett pattern in there. The fairy Winter Dream Fairy, I guess, is what she was she would be called. But anyway, this is her. Um, many of you have probably seen her. Quite a few of you have probably stitched her. Sorry about sorry about the color. She's not exactly the best looking on here this isn't exactly the best looking video but and um, anyway um so i all of a sudden jumped up and said uh, i need fabric for this <laughs> so um my local needle workshop my look shop owner um jenny she went out with me to the front of the store um we were stitching in the back meeting room and um we found the linen for it i got um 32 count linen uh, fair, for the fairy winter dream, a 15 by 18 piece um, of clean kiss. No, it called for um, ocean kiss. It's ocean kiss. Ocean kiss is the name of it. Ocean kiss linen by Wichel Imports. So I got the um, the linen. Um, it's kind of a very nice, you can't really see the color here. The colors aren't really, I have to do something with the lighting. I don't know if this will help. That's probably washing it out too much. I don't know. We shall bring this over and we shall see. I don't know if that'll help. Um, I don't know. It's probably washing it out. I'm going to turn this light back off because it annoys me. But anyway, so I got the Ocean Kiss Linen. By Wichel, from Wichelt, Wichelt Imports for the Winter Fairy. And um, I also picked up the two or three bead colors that um, are needed for this. Um, I believe it's these two. I could be wrong. We have 00146 and 00168. I don't already have these in my bead stash. Um, this past weekend, I had ordered new um, bead containers, um, bead storage system, because I had really old bead storage, and I didn't really like them. And in the midst of consolidating everything for cross stitch, I'm also consolidating my beads, figuring out what I have. So I ordered these Elizabeth Ward um, bead containers online. Um, I ordered the first one off of... Amazon because I'd seen somebody, uh, Calico, who is a floss tuber, had um, 
gotten some of this for her bead stash and I kind of was intrigued by the system did a little looking around last week and came up with this thing on Amazon this system from Amazon but here's one of the trays um, I've got my beads in here the um, lid comes off like this and all the beads are in little individual compartments in here sorry about the glare sorry about the glare um, but you can see these are all the seed bead ones um, and each little thing comes in its own little compartment with a flip top lid a little flip top lid and each has a label sorry the labels upside down each has a label on the bottom I used a sharpie pen to write the to write out the labels on these but I spent a good chunk of the weekend at the in-laws um, for the Stormwheeler Festival this weekend putting all my bead stash into this handy dandy little tray container system and so far I like it a lot um, it's gonna help me <laughs> not buy so many beads um, so I have to take these packs and put them in one of the empty little empty containers oops sorry one of the little empty containers in my in my new bead storage. Um, I'm looking forward to doing that. Um, anyway, I will um, post a link of the bead storage that I got in the comments or in the description of the video below. So um, anyway, this is my bead storage tray. Um, little sidebar there. But I got the beads for the Winter Fairy. And... Um, I didn't I don't think it called for I didn't really look I don't think it called for any specialty threads called for beads has some blended thread oh it has crinic in it and wildflowers oh Karen wildflowers oh look at that <laughs> well I guess I have a little more shopping to do before I get her started I have a feeling um, I wanted to get started on um, a different mir mirabilia Sleeping Beauty. Um, this is Sleeping Beauty here. Um, she's an older pattern. Um, I've had her, I've had this pattern for quite some time. Probably since, um, I wouldn't say I got it in 1994 when it was published. But uh, I've had this for quite some time in my stash. I kind of really like her. I think she's going to be fun to stitch. Um, I also already have the pattern, a working copy of the pattern made. Um, and it's not going to help you with without the thing. But anyway, I have my working copy in here. Um, and I went to the store to try and find some fabric for her. This is one of the things I was going to start. And um, so anyway, let me put this fair, winter fairy aside. Um, so yeah, I have some stuff to buy for the winter fairy. But anyway, I was looking for some fabric that I thought might might work with this. And I know there's, um, picture this, picture this press. I don't remember if that's exactly the name of the company, but I know they have hand-dyed fabric. And I wasn't sure looking online what, what color I could get. And luckily my local needle workshop crossed my heart has some of the picture picture this fabric hand dyed fabric on hand and they had this color on hand called sprite it was the i believe theirs was the cashel linen the 20, 28 count cashel linen maybe it was the 32 count if cashel comes in 32 count but um they didn't have a piece big enough for her um i'm really looking for a piece big enough for her and also um i had at the not really recommendation but one of the other floss tubers that I've been watching has um, posted had posted information about another company called the work basket um, they do a lot of Quaker kind of inspired um, patterns and I went and downloaded this cornflower pattern a Quaker flower pattern from their website um, I believe it's theworkbasket.com. I can post the information down below. But anyway, um, while I was there, I really fell in love with the color, the um, hand-dyed floss color or uh, fabric color sprite from Picture This, whatever they happen to be. And um, 
I've decided that I'm gonna stitch this flower on Sprite. So I went looking for a couple of different um, colors. The colors aren't gonna come out really well because the lighting in here really kind of sucks. Um, but I picked out three different silk colors because I like where I've worked with silks in the past and I really like it. Um, but I picked out three silk colors that might go with the Sprite fabric. Um, I'm going to have to order the Sprite fabric either from my local cross stitch store or um, online. I'm probably going to do it online just to get it. Um, but I'm going to order a piece big enough to do, excuse me, order a piece big enough to do the Sleeping Beauty from Marabilia and the um, Quaker Flower pattern. But anyway, I got this one. You're not going to be able to tell. Let's see if the light above might help. Uh, you're not going to be able to tell. The light washes it out too, too much. Yep, light washes it out too, too much. But this one is by Dinky Dyes, and it's Hand Dyed Silk 06. The color is Tutti Frutti. Tutti Frutti. It's kind of a bluish purple. It has blues, purples, and pinks. And it looked really pretty against the Sprite um, fabric swatch that my cross-stitch store had. Then the next color I chose is Karen Water, Karen Water Lilies. I've worked with Water Lilies before, and I really like it. Um, this one is called Brandywine. You can't really see the color. My light in here is really poor. Um, this one is kind of purples, variegated purples, and I think it has a little brown in it too. But this one's called Brandywine. And then the last color I got that I'm not really sure, maybe I'll stitch three of them, put them in order, you know, in each of the three colors on the piece of fabric I get. Um, this is by Silken Colors, the Thread Gatherer. This color is called Sweet Pea. And this is kind of purples and pinks. Um, it's a little softer than the Brandywine. And it has a, um, it doesn't have any blue in it like the Dinky Dyes does. But um, I'm looking forward to stitching with these. It's been a little while since I've stitched with silk. But um, anyway, I got three colors, three color schemes for my Quaker Flower. And the Quaker Flower is a freebie pattern from the work basket. Um, I had also was hoping to find some fabric um, for a heaven and earth design that um, I have. Um, I have a couple of them in progress. My favorite off, my favorite designer, <laughs> who has um, a license, who has an agreement with Heaven and Earth Designs to publish her patterns, is Jasmine Beckett Griffith. I love the kind of anime style with the big eyes. Um, I have one of her Faces of Fairy projects done that I'll show in another video. And I'm currently working on uh, several other um, Heaven and Earth designs. I have a big one. Um, I don't remember the name of it off the top, the designer off the top of my head, but it's called Hunter's Moon, and it's really big and really pretty. Um, I'm a couple of pages into that one. And um, another designer I like who has patterns at, on Heaven and Earth Designs is Hannah Lynn. And um, I got this Story Keep uh, last week, this Story Keep pattern for the Ice Princess. I think I have her in the big size as well. Um, but I got this Story Keep here. Um, and the Story Keep Princess here. Because um, I am hoping to start on her. I ha um, The Heaven and Earth designs that I'm working on, I'm currently working doing 10 stitch, two threads over one on, I believe it is 28 count, um, even weave fabric. Um, I've picked between white and the, what is it, the the brown, kind of the tan brown coffee natural color, whatever they call that. Um, you know, and I picked those uh, those pieces of fabric up at Michael's or Joann's. Um, but this one, I was hoping to find some sort of um, kind of shimmery blue, but I couldn't find anything. And that's about it. Oh, and um, I also pick up picked up two beads. Um, that my cross stitch store had for the um, Sleeping Beauty by Mirabilia. We have the um, 02054 Bugle Beads. These are really pretty blue, kind of an aqua blue. 
And then we have um, the 10059 Magnifica beads. These are really pretty, kind of a deeper, kind of watery blue. Um, anyway, so that's what I got on my store. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I'm probably going to be ordering the Sprite hand dyed fabric um, pretty soon here for Sleeping Beauty and the Cornflower. I'm really hoping to get started on the Cornflower. The Cornflower only has one color, basically, only takes one color. Um, the pattern's really basic. Um, it's probably, it should be a quick stitch, but I don't know. You know, I did just recently finish a project that I've had going for 24 years. So let's hope that we don't have another one of those. <laughs> anyway, so that's what I got from my local needle workshop. Um, that's about all I have for now. Um, once again, um, take care. We'll see you next time. Hopefully I'll be able to give you some more works in progress and show you some pictures, show you some finishes. I have quite a few in my home. Oh, just to show you, I don't know if you can see that. Let me move the camera. The little chickadee picture there and the one right above it. Sorry about the light. I'll get the light out of the way. But the one in the silver frame above it. Um, those are two cross stitch pieces that I have finished and framed. Those are, I guess, FFOs. I'm not exactly sure what an FFO is, but anyway, the chickadee pattern, the chickadees, um, was a cross stitch piece that I stitched for my mother-in-law. Um, it was a Christmas present for her. She really liked chickadees and, you know, birds of any type, really. But she really liked chickadees. And when I saw the pattern and I showed it to her, she just was absolutely in love. The chickadees are sitting in kind of a Christmas thing. When I do my, um, when I do my update or my um, finish, finish video, um, I will take a better picture of there and, and show it to you but the one above that is a little sampler um, that I finished golly I don't remember when I finished it but it says in winter when the snow is white I sing this song for your delight and it's really cute because it was done in flower thread um, a pink a pink a blue and a white and variegated floss I think um, I don't remember where I got the pattern I don't remember where it, where it came from but it's one of the few small finishes that I have that I'm really proud of anyway so there's two of my finishes and um, I'll show you better pictures of them later um, but anyway I hope <laughs> again good night and I hope happy stitching I hope you have happy Blah. <laughs> anyway, I hope you have a good evening and happy stitching to everybody out there. Um, I'm looking forward to more finishing more things. Um, have a good night. Bye.